Hey, what's good YouTube? Nath Mass Collector. Back to another figure review. Um, Master of the Universe Roboto. So, I have three versions. Uh, one is my original version of Roboto from 1980. Oh my god, when, when was this? 1984. So, um... And I don't know if I painted this guy or or what, but he's got kind of this cool pinky purple feet on here. <laughs> and uh, you know, the, this, these guys got gray and silver, so I'm not sure on that. I'd have to look it up and, and just see what the heck happened there, but not sure. Um, so the original one, Let's put these to the side here so we can do a little comparison here but the original one you, you turned his wrist and his mouth moves up and down and the gears um, you know move in his body and all of them move in his body you know not just the front ones or the side ones all every single one of them do you know the bottom yellow one the orange green he's got the heart the heart inside there as well the red heart is in there uh, that does not move, but all the gears do, and so does his mouth when he moves his, you know, waist side to side. Um, no idea what happened to his other arm, but uh, here is, you know, the bulk of, of this figure, which he was one of my favorite characters because of his uh, functional gears in his body. It was really cool. Uh, this version here is uh, Super 7s, and they came out with this um, a few years ago, I think 2016 or so. Um, his mouth doesn't open up, it just completely shut. Um, he does have different attach attachments for his arm, I just don't have them handy. Um, for articulation, he's got quite a bit. Uh, his shoulders move around. Um, you know, the uh, biceps, elbows, his wrists move up and down and around. So a very functional, a lot, a lot of points of articulation on this guy. Um, but the gears don't move in his chest and he does not even have the heart. So, um, and I know that they're trying to make this look exactly like the filmation version. So, you know, it's pretty much what it, what it looked like from what I remember. Um, and the articulation's great, you know, the knees, waist, um, the shins don't move, but uh, his foots are on a swivel ball joint type of thing. So that's this guy. It's the Super 7 Filmation version. And this, you know, he's about seven, seven inches all eight and then we have the the new version which is origins line <clears throat> and uh, we're gonna open up him and take a look at this guy so when you look at the uh, the box and the packaging and everything it's you know exactly the same as everything else um, retro play new for this one says new for 21 got a comic in here I'll take a look at the back and the artwork, which looks amazing once again. So he's shooting triclops. You see Culver Khan over here, right there. So you know we'll be seeing that figure at some point for sure. But uh, yeah, super cool. So on this version, the gears and jaw move once we uh, open them up and take a look at them. He's got three interchangeable weapons. And this is showing uh, Roboto, Zodak, Merman, and She-Ra. They came out in uh, a, a recent wave. I actually have two Mermans now. I got this version and I have the Lords of Power one that came in. So I'll do a review on those shortly too. Take a look at them, open them up.
Try to save the card. Too, at least the artwork part. I don't want to get that, that part too trashed. comes to these origin figures I'm not really all that bent out of shape as far as like the condition of everything I think I do have a couple of these about two and this was one that had the package was the worst but I don't know I was kind of getting over the collecting mint on card stuff it just takes up way too much space and it's really fun to open the stuff up and check it out We've got the comic, Dimensional Doom. Oh, that point dread. So, He-Man, Skeletor, Roboto, Merman, Stratos. the figure so first things first let's do this and sure enough you turn his waist and the gears move and his mouth opens up and down um, does not have the heart but you can see the mechanism in there on how it kicks his mouth up and down but yeah they really lacked on the uh, the reverse side here because you know so here's the front yeah so the mechanism in the original you have the heart that moves up and down slower slowly that makes his mouth move more fluid which is really cool. And then also there's two extra gears on the back here that flip that heart around. This one here, it's just got that mechanism in there that makes it just kind of slap up and down. But they could have put two more gears in there and made that thing a heart. I don't know why they didn't do that. Just to save costs, I'm assuming. But I think it looks a lot better. The more stuff in here, the better. It's a robot. Um, so, my one grape on that. Um, so, yeah, it just kind of. It's all right. Um, the figure wise, I mean, color and everything looks, looks really nice. Um, again, you can move his uh, shoulder, his elbow. His, I think he can move his wrist. No, cannot move his wrist. Can move, can move his hand, wrist, but not his like forearm or anything like that. So maybe that's just because he's a robot and that's just what it is. I don't know. Um, these uh, attachments seem really, um, like I don't know. They look okay, they just look really dime store cheap or something. I think it's because the uh, the silver um, plastic that they use to cast this stuff wasn't mixed, you know, 100% thoroughly. So you see all of the swirls and stuff where the, you know, the paint just kind of separated from itself possibly and the pigment and the plastic. You know, it just, it looks like a poor toy. Um, this one doesn't look as bad. It's more believable. 
pretty flexible stuff here. Uh, the claw is pretty cool. But on this gun, that looks really, really bad. Cheap, almost. Uh, putting the attachments on is super easy. It's not tight at all. This hand's kind of wonky. Very flexible material. Um, yeah, like his hips are on ball joints on the inside there. Um, and then you can move his shins on this one, his feet side to side, up, down. Not too much though, because I think this armor here <clears throat> on, the, uh, on the top of the foot kind of limits you to how far you can push that up and back for that matter. So not as nice as like, uh, you know, having a boot without this armor covering built in. But uh, everything else kind of moves a lot, lot of pieces of uh, or points of articulation. So it looks cool. But um, yeah, so Roboto, um, you know, it's, it's not my favorite Origins figure so far. That's for sure. Um, I think Trap Jaws got him got him beat still. And uh, it's just kind of awkward, I think. And I think it's because of his body shape. But kind of disappointed um, about the less gears in the body compared to the original. Um, and not having the heart in there. It's just kind of one of those things that you just would like to see. And, you know, a couple more pieces here and there. It kind of cost too much tech extra and it would have been such a better figure in my boat um, and the fluidity of the uh, the original mouth compared to this one here it just feels cheap so um, all in all I mean it's, it's cool to look at and everything it's nice to have the figure and uh, have it be a part of the line but um, I wish I would have a nice original um, Roboto, I might just start looking for one that's in better condition to have because it's so cool. But um, yeah, let me get, let me know what you guys think. Um, thanks for watching the video. Uh, I'm gonna start doing more of these. I got a lot of figures I gotta catch up on and uh, start doing that here. So this is Roboto. I'm not even sure what wave the guy's from, frankly. Um, I just got a bunch of figures. I need to start opening them up and doing my reviews on them. I'm not really concerned what wave they came out in. Um, it's more about just the, the playability of it and how it looks and what, what I think of it anyways. So, appreciate you guys checking it out. Please subscribe if you have not yet, if you like this type of content. And um, give it a thumbs up, like the video, and hit the bell for notifications. And that way when I drop new videos, you'll be notified. So, uh, thanks guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Later.